becoming an emergency doctor might take a year longer. The ACGME has proposed that all emergency medicine residencies extend from three to four years, which could affect thousands of future doctors. What's the reason for these proposed changes? Emergency departments are seeing shorter shifts and lower patient volumes, meaning residents aren't getting enough critical experience. Board exam pass rates are declining, and program directors want longer training periods. But here's the uncomfortable reality. This decision could cost residents approximately $330,000 each, as it's an extra year spent earning $67,400 instead of the typical EM attending salary of nearly $400,000. Critics argue this creates a workforce crisis. In 2030, there will be a gap year with thousands fewer emergency doctors entering practice. Many question whether programs simply want another year of cheap resident labor rather than genuinely improving training. But the changes also include some positives. Residents can't work more than six consecutive days and get guaranteed time off between shifts. For current pre-meds considering emergency medicine, factor in this extra year of training, additional debt, and delayed attending income when making your specialty choice. Will longer training create better doctors, or is this more about securing another year of cheap resident labor?